Okay, we're going to sort, do a dish now with the rock tarbot or sea cat. I'll explain about that in a minute. It's what we picked up this morning from John Hoosey's Fishmonger in Torrey. And we'll be using the wild garlic that we picked in Stonehaven. From John Hoosey, we got all the bones and things. And you would have seen we had a fish stock on earlier. We've got some fish stock. We're going to make the sauce. We need some oil from the Ola rapeseed guys. We'll do the whole dish as a homage to Keith Floyd. So instead of having a glass of wine, we'll have punk in cans and we'll cook along with that. Wonderful. Some heritage potatoes. These are being boiled through, um, crushed down with sea salt and some whole grain mustard. We'll portion up some fish. Okay, I've got the fishmonger. And get your fishmonger, get them to do the work, it's so much easier. But you've always got to check across it. Find some bones just coming down in through here. I'm just going to bone this piece out. They've done the heavy work, I'm going to do the intricate stuff now. Always keep our bits because we'll have another fish stock on at Musa tomorrow. Again, we're just going to check it in, centre of the fillet, looking for any bones. Okay, so now we've portioned up a rock tarbot. Keith Floyd way. That. We've got Ola oil. See how lovely and golden the colour is in there? It's a lot more healthier for you than olive oils or any of the processed sunflower, rapeseed. It's a generous dash of sea salt on both sides. A little cracked pepper. What we're going to do with this is, we're going to pop that under the grill. Okay, we come along to our sauce now. It's half and half. This is coconut milk. Double cream. To one third fish stock. We'll add in a dash of punk. Just going to bring that up to the boil now. Here's our wild garlic. So there we have very salty water, you just take each leaf, just wash it, lay it out. This being um, the end of May, you can tell that it's getting into the end of its season when it starts flowering, and believe it or not they don't smell garlicky, they smell really nice and fresh, almost like um, a juniper or something. With foraging for um, any wild foods, always make sure you know what you're getting before you do it and don't speculate. Wild garlic can be obtained through specialist suppliers where it will have been picked by a certificated forager, but I find it just a lot a lot better just to get back and back to nature almost and get out there and get finding things. So we have our wild garlic, take a shallot and just roughly chop it. Sauce can be blended, taking our wild garlic. Again, even though it's going to be blended, if you roughly chop it, it makes it easier for your blender, stops it clogging up. Our coconut milk and cream has just now came to the boil. Take all that. Don't want to waste any of this coming so late into the season. As the season progresses with wild garlic, you're going to find that it gets more and more garlicky. At the beginning of the season, you need more to get the flavour into it, and it's a bright, bright green colour, your sauce. The longer you go in, the lighter your sauce can get because the less amount of leaves you're going to need in there because it's going to become very, very pungent and rich. But it's great. 
Um, at this time of the year when it's come at the end, go out, pick lots, take it home, make garlic butter, freeze the garlic butter, use it for cooking throughout the year. That's what we like to do here. Okay, so we, I say we brought up to the boil the cream, the coconut milk. We've added a shallot, the wild garlic to that. Our heritage potatoes crushed with mustard seeds. That's in there, that's just coming up to the heat as well. Okay, we're ladling in. Wild garlic into the blender. Always be careful at this point, you've got boiling liquid in there, protect your hand with an old cloth. Okay, we've got a lovely fresh piece of fish here. That's ready now. Take a little bit of butter. Just finish it with that. The potatoes ready. A nice quenelle. You see that butter just starting to melt through there now. A wild garlic sauce, spoon some of that over and around. And there we have it. It's our rock tarbot, the wild garlic sauce, our crushed heritage potatoes with the mustard seeds, the rock tarbot from John Hosey's fish across there in Torrey, the wild garlics came from Stonehaven, the fish has been cooked in oil from Ola and we did put a splash of punk IPA into the sauce as well and that's what we're going to wash this one down with.